box of hair dye from when I dyed my hair the other day. Pajamas, moisturizer instructions. Let's just shove that out of the way. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So rather than sit around all day and waste my life sitting on my ass, I thought I should do a video. If you're in the UK like me, you'll know that we're in the middle of a heat wave and honestly, like it is so hot, I can't breathe. <laughs> and I spent my day just chilling, drinking this strange concoction of amaretto, lemonade and some pineapple melon fruit things. So if you watch some of my recent videos, you'll know that I recently did a little shopping haul and when I went out, I bought loads of Revolution makeup. So I have my video on the haul. I have a new video coming soon of a Makeup Revolution haul. And I also have my review on Roxy's Red or Die palette. So if you haven't checked those out, I will pop some cards up here and links down below. Please check those out. I worked really, really hard on them and yeah, um, I just I really think you would enjoy them. And so following on from that, today I thought I would review the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation and the Conceal and Define Concealer. If you do like this video, please don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a thing from me. And let's get into the video. So there has been a lot of mixed reviews on this foundation and concealer. Um, I know that some people have really loved it, some people not so much. I'm going to show you exactly what my opinions are on it. Okay, so I'm filming this the next day. Um, this heat wave is absolutely killing me. I tried to film the rest of the video yesterday and as soon as I started applying my foundation it was like melting off my face. So I've waited till the day after and it's also a little bit later, it's going on for 7 o'clock now I think. So it's a little bit cooler although today is like extremely hot, I think it's still like 25 degrees or something like that um, and for the UK like that is crazy. It also looks like it's gonna be a big thunderstorm outside, it's gotten really dark so I've had to turn the light on so I hope that the lighting's alright. And as you can see I literally haven't been bothered with my hair for the past few days so because of the weather since I do have naturally curly hair as soon as I go outside with the humidity my hair just goes boom. a little bit like this like I can't deal with that and I also can't deal with makeup and melting off my face so that's why I've just got a little bit of tan on my face and body now this foundation that I'm going to be testing is a lot lighter than my tan but obviously I need to just put it on without mixing it with anything else just for demonstration purposes so yes it's gonna look a little bit funny I need to demonstrate properly um, how it goes on the application and what it looks like after I've worn it for a few hours so I have moisturized my face with my usual astral original about a week ago now I did a test of this exact same foundation but I wasn't wearing any primer and I wasn't wearing any finishing spray and um, so if I still have the clip for that I will insert it now and then this time I'm gonna test it with primer and with some fixing spray just so you can see the difference if there is any difference um, and then obviously I can make my overall judgment okay so here is the foundation it's the makeup revolution conceal and define foundation in shade f6 this was £9 from Superdrug. The bottle contains 23 millilitres of product, which is a little bit less than some foundations, but for the price, I mean, I'm not gonna complain about that. It's also a full coverage foundation. Instead of a pump like I'm used to with my Rimmel London, this has like a little dispenser. I've totally forgotten what the word is. Applicator. It's got a little applicator. It does control the amount of product you put on, so it doesn't let you put loads on it at the same time. But I think that is quite good because then you're not like wasting the product. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that just in a few sweeping motions across my face. So I'm just going to start with that amount for now and, and then I'm just going to blend it in with my wet beauty blender. So 
So it is definitely very full coverage. Um, I would say it's quite difficult to blend around like dry areas like your nose and like you know like difficult areas um, but after a while like it does blend in. I think I'm going to add a little bit more just to my forehead just because I didn't quite put enough on and I want to see like how good coverage you can actually get by building it up. And I forgot to mention um, I used Maybelline Baby Skin Primer just before I applied this but I did that off the camera. Okay, so I put another layer on and like I said, it definitely is full coverage. It did take a couple of layers to make it completely flawless, um, but now I would say that it does. The only problems are definitely in the areas like around my nose, um, the top of my nose, maybe my chin as well, where it's not covering as well. So I'm going to put the concealer to the test and I'm going to apply it to those patches and see if it helps. So the concealer is exactly the same, it's the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. It's in the shade C6 and in this bottle you get 4 grams of product. I believe they also sell a supersized version of this concealer but I didn't want to buy the supersized version when obviously like I haven't tried it so I don't know what it's like. This was £4 from Superdrug as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it to those areas that I talked about before and under my eyes as well. Okay, so it definitely has helped. Um, I would say from first impressions that is a good concealer, although I haven't seen what it's like over time. So obviously I'm going to be checking back in later on of the results of what they're like after wearing them for a few hours. Although it's already 7 o'clock so I'm going to have to leave it on for at least till 11 or 12. Or maybe I'll do another results test um, tomorrow during the day so I can test it for longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop some powder on obviously to set my foundation. I'm also going to be doing a workout soon so that's really putting it to the test because I'm obviously going to be sweating especially in this heat because it's like 25 degrees. So I'm just using my usual Rimmel Stay Matte powder and I'm going to set it with the Revolution Matte Fix. This is an oil control and fixing spray which is obviously going to help the oily look which I will probably have after I have done a workout and sweated in the seed. I really want to do the rest of my makeup but like it's 7 o'clock at night and I've got work at half 8 in the morning so really what's the point? Okay so I decided to do the rest of my makeup um, and I know it's like 7 o'clock at night but no product testing is complete without the full look. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is pop downstairs, do my workout and then I will check back with you on the results after I have sweat my arse off. Okay, so the weather's took like a huge turn for the worse. Like it's thundering and lightning and to be honest, like it's such a relief because it's been so warm. So yesterday we had the second hottest day ever to be recorded in Britain and that was only second by a matter of like 0.2 of a degree or something like that. It's ridiculous. Um, I think it reached like 38.1. So hopefully this little bit of rain is going to clear the air. I haven't got the foundation on now that I was testing. I couldn't get the right lighting when I was trying to film a video and actually show you like the final result. I couldn't get the right lighting at all so I've just took some pictures and some little clips which I'm going to show you and talk about now. I actually have no foundation on at all at the moment so excuse my very shiny face. I don't know why it's gone so oily. I actually have really dry skin, would you believe? Um, but in this light, it looks like I've been polishing my head. So I had the foundation on for probably less than four hours, which isn't a long time at all, considering foundation is supposed to last you all day, or I think at least eight hours plus, depending on which one you get. But even after four hours, I'm so disappointed with the results. I really, really wanted to like this foundation. I was really excited, I've heard that loads of people like it, Soft quite liked it, Soft as nails, 
I think it might be because she has oily skin, whereas I have really dry skin, that might have made a difference. So some of the major things that have let it down are the way that the foundation has sunk into my creases on my face, so like my eyelids, my under eyes, and my creases in my forehead, also smile lines and on my chin. I have never had a foundation that has broken up as much as this, and that's no word of a lie. So even with primer on, it's, it went all like cakey and literally just completely separated in some parts of my face. Like my nose, there was absolutely no product left on my nose whatsoever from probably about here all the way down to here. There was none, absolutely none. And I know that Stephanie Toms had this problem as well when I watched her video. I'm not sure if we'll have the same skin type, but I'm gonna have to check that out and um, to obviously see why this is happening. I just don't understand how it could go on so flawlessly and then in less than four hours it's literally just separating and just appearing in big blotches and random parts of your face. It just doesn't make sense. So I am really disappointed that has really let it down because it went on so nice and it was amazing coverage as well, I'm not gonna lie. Like it was a major, a major? It was amazing coverage and a flawless application, but now I'm just not feeling it. So the concealer as well, um, you saw that I put it in the areas where I needed like a little bit more coverage. I put it on my eyelids to test as I would usually do that before my eyeshadow. And I put it like on the end of my nose and stuff like that. But even with like quite a thick layer of the concealer, there was literally none left on my face. Literally like none, absolutely zero amount of product left on my face and this was after four hours. The other concealer that I've used for quite a while is literally just a collection one. It's like two or three pounds and this doesn't happen with that. So I don't understand where it went wrong. Also, one other thing that I found is that both of the foundation and concealer have a really chemically smell to them. You notice it like as soon as you open the bottle and I forgot to talk about this earlier, it literally just hits you in the face. <coughs> <coughs> Not even joking, like it's really strong and that can't be good for your face. And another thing as well is that I have very sensitive skin so that might be affecting the results but I know for definite that it made my skin really, really itchy. Um, I haven't broke out yet, touch wood. But it did make my skin like feel really itchy and like sore and went really, really red after I took it off. So definitely don't go for this if you have sensitive skin. The chemical smell to start with would put me off that. Obviously I didn't know before I bought it. I mean, don't get us wrong, like I love Makeup Revolution. I've got some other products which are amazing. Like my review on Roxy's Ride or Die palette, which was in collaboration with Makeup Revolution. I have done a video on that. And like that palette is so pretty and so flawless and like I couldn't fault it. But I think it might just be hit and miss and it also might depend on your skin type. So I hope you have enjoyed. Sorry for the disappointment. If you have liked this video, please remember to check out some of my other ones. I do loads of beauty videos and I am uploading as regularly as I can at the moment. So I really do love your support. Also, if there's any new beauty releases which you'd like me to do a video on, anything exciting coming up which I haven't already seen or talked about, let me know because I want to hear everything from you guys, what you want to see from me, anything that I could do in the future, all of these new videos that I can plan in. I'm really, really excited and yeah, please let me know of anything else you want to see. And I'll see you all next time.